What's the best way to spend two days in Saguaro National Park? We're here to find out. We got an itinerary full of things to see and do here in this gem of the Southwest. So let's do stuff. Look at these cacti glow. Look at this little baby. Little baby Saguaro. I'm Tara, that's Lucas. We're on a quest for new adventures and great food. Come along with us as we explore our incredible world. Flanking either side of the city of Tucson, Arizona, a small but vital part of the Sonoran Desert is preserved as Saguaro National Park. The saguaro cactus is a universal symbol of the American West, but these majestic plants are found in only a small portion of the U.S., and they exist in a particularly high concentration here in the park. Towering up to 50 feet tall, saguaro are the nation's largest cacti. Designated as a national monument in 1933 and a national park in 1994, saguaro's 92,000 acres are separated into two districts, Rincon Mountain to the east and Tucson Mountain to the west. Over this two-day adventure, we'll be visiting both districts. On day one, we're headed to the east side, so let's get things started with the visitor center. The smaller of the two in the park, the Rincon Mountain Visitor Center is an informative space with several interactive displays. The displays highlight things like the life cycle of the saguaro cactus, the history of several folks who at one time called the park home, and information about the diverse plant and animal life found in the park. The visitor center also serves as the starting point of a scenic drive, which just happens to be our next order of business. Joined on day one of this saguaro adventure by our old friend Derek, who lives in Tucson. Running through the heart of an extensive saguaro forest, Cactus Forest Drive is a one-way, eight-mile paved loop road. Constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps between 1936 and 1939, the loop includes several pullouts for scenic overlooks and trailheads. The Sonoran Desert has an arid subtropical climate, and its bi-seasonal rainfall pattern results in more plant species than any other desert in the world. There's a huge variety of animals here, Gila monsters, bobcats, jackrabbits, roadrunners, western diamondback rattlesnakes, and it's a vital habitat for the only population of jaguars in the U.S. In addition, 350 bird species, 20 amphibians, over 100 reptiles, 30 native fish, and over 1,000 native bee species. The park recommends one to two hours to explore and get a leisurely look at Sonoran desert life. It's the perfect way to explore the park from the comfort of your vehicle. About halfway down the Cactus Forest Drive is the Desert Ecology Trail. It's about a quarter mile loop and it's got lots of nice interpretive signs that explain some of the wildlife and plants in the park. So right here, this is a creosote plant, um, and as I was explaining earlier, uh, if you take a little handful and breathe some moisture on it, oh, give it a good smell. It smells, uh, to me it smells exactly like molasses. Um, and you take a little sprig if you want and put it in your shower, and it's a, just a delightful smell all, all shower long. <laughs>
This turnoff brought us to the Javelina Rocks. The javelinas are a local animal that's abundant in this park, and they look like pigs, but they're actually not. They're peccaries. They get to be about 20 inches tall, and apparently they like to hang out in this area. I haven't seen any yet. No. Maybe we will. But I think there's some pretty cool views up there. Let's go check it out. What'd you think of that? I thought it was really beautiful, really quiet, peaceful. Some mm -hmm. really interesting plants to look at. For such an urban park, being like right on the outskirts of Tucson, you get into these areas where you would have no idea you would think you're way out in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness. I know we all typically think of the desert of being sand and rocks, but there are so many different kinds of plants and animals out here, different things blooming, and just really, really interesting and different. Yeah, the diversity is awesome. But we're gonna go camp on the west side tonight, just outside of the Tucson Mountain District. And we'll pick you up there in a minute. It was really nice spending a lovely afternoon with an old friend in a beautiful place. Maybe a good morning for you, but maybe not so much for us. It's a morning. As we were getting ready to go to bed last night and getting the tent all set up, our inflatable mattress popped and we weren't able to fix it. We tried to duct tape it a bunch and it would be like And then we gave up. We ended up sleeping on a blanket with our sleeping bags on this very rocky ground. So it, it's, yeah, it's rocks. Neck, shoulders, hips, hips. everything hurts. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, hey, we're gonna make the best of it, right? Mm -hmm. So we spent the night here at the Gilbert Ray campground and it's gorgeous. The saguaros and the mountains in the background and all the different plant varieties here they did a really nice job this is a, just a gorgeous campground but yeah we're gonna make some breakfast and get ready and go explore the west side of saguaro national park for breakfast this morning we're gonna make some egg sandwiches on english muffins with veggie bacon and cheese and mushrooms and spinach first we're gonna fry up some veggie bacon then we'll do a little saute with some mushrooms and onions and then I'm gonna make the eggs omelet style. Melt some cheese on top, fold it up, put it on the muffins. All right, fancy breakfast sandwich acquired. Thank you. <laughs> Looks amazing. Does look pretty good. Let's do this. <laughs> I haven't had English muffins in a long time, and you fried them in the butter, and then, you know, the egg and the veggie bacon, which is actually pretty good, you should give it a try. Mm -hmm. Don't expect it to be bacon, but it tastes good for what it is. It's tasty and crispy, and I didn't get the normal English muffins that everyone gets. I got some sort of fancy ones, so they're a little more traditional in the English style. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And with the cheese and the veggies, dude, the mushrooms, mushrooms is such an underrated ingredient. And spinach, dude, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, everything's all buttery and delicious. Now that we've woken up, <clears throat> this is an excellent start to the day. So we're gonna finish up breakfast, gonna break down camp, and then we're gonna go explore the west side of Saguaro National Park.
voila! All right, kids, you know the drill. Not only do we not let our own trash hit the ground, but we pick up any and all trash that we see in our campsite that someone else left. So let's do it. And now with that done, let's head to the park. Today's first activity here on the west side of the park, which is known as the Tucson Mountain District, is the Bajada Loop Drive. It's an unpaved road, but they've graded it so that basically any cars can go on it. They don't recommend motorhomes. A little bumpy, but gorgeous. Just go slow and you're fine. The concentration of saguaros here on the west side is intense. The east side is very beautiful in its own right, but this is spectacular. They're just wall to wall. <laughs> and the mountains and the saguaros everywhere, it's definitely like a forest. It really is, and that the mixture of all the different types of cactuses and the ocotillos and the mesquite trees and everything, it just is such an amazing landscape. It's gorgeous. Let's go check it out. For our hike today, we took a spur road off of Bajada Loop to the Sendero Esperanza Trailhead. We're gonna take this out to the ridge line or the Hugh Norris Trail. It's about 1.7 miles out, 1.7 back for a 3.4 mile out and back. Mm -hmm. We don't know the elevation game, but there are some switchbacks we read, so there's gonna be some. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I think we're about a quarter in and man, the amount of cactus out here is intense. It's really, really amazing seeing all these just kind of layered on top of each other. And the way the green contrasts with the orange of the rocks, ugh, just amazing. It's a glorious trail thus far. keep saying this weather is absolutely spectacular phenomenal perfect 73 barely a cloud in the sky nice gentle breeze ah oh, it's uh, late November and I'd have to say this is probably the time to come yep um, I've heard that this trail can be quite windy it's perfect absolutely perfect today We are climbing. Whew. Yeah, the switchbacks are uh, a challenge. Yeah, we're a little out of practice uh, <laughs> since Yosemite. We haven't uh, done a long hike in a while, so it's been a month and a half. Ah, oh, feeling it. We're All almost right. there, though. Baby, 
little baby swallow. There's a cute little one. And daddy behind him. Ooh. Whoa. We made it to our destination, which is this ridge line. It's uh, another hour or so to Wasson Peak, which was our original destination, but we're listening to our bodies. We're getting over some nasty colds and we basically didn't sleep last night. So I think we're gonna save that for our next Sawaro trip in about hopefully one or two years, we'll come back and actually tackle Wasson Peak. Mm -hmm. The view is incredible from both sides, just, open land, saguaros, hills in the distance. Oh, it is beautiful up here. Pretty majestic. Now we're gonna have a snack and head back down. All right, we just finished that Sendero Esperanza trail. We're gonna get back in the car, head back over to the Bajada Loop and drive the rest of that. We both continue to be blown away by the beauty of the Southwest. And this two day adventure was further evidence of just how incredible deserts can be. Thank you so much for coming along on this two-day adventure to Saguaro National Park. If you have any recommendations or questions, please put them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate it if you took a second to subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a ton. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>